Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in uh, this video, we are going to create a robot that trades what? The bullish and bearish harami. Um, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing my Japanese correctly there. But uh, essentially the bullish and bearish harami, it's, it's like, uh, they call it the pregnant uh, candle setup. Uh, if you can see, it looks like a pregnant woman, like uh, this is a body, a tummy. And apparently, uh, this uh, shows you when there is a reversal in place, or um, this is super. This one will be a bearish reversal, and uh, this one will then be a bullish reversal. So, we have um, this pregnant woman uh, giving birth to new trend, uh, or they say that's uh the gist of the strategy i think so we're going to uh try and do this uh using a robot because we don't always have time to be looking for these kind of setups uh, uh in a, uh, on our charts uh because we, we are busy with doing other things so we like to automate everything okay so that's what we're going to do uh in uh, this uh, video by the way, if you are new on this channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, that way you don't miss any future videos. Uh, if you have any strategies that you want us to turn into uh, Forex robots, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, like uh, inbox me or things like that. I know people always ask me, but uh, previously I gave out my email to the public and I got hacked. So I stopped. Uh, I apologize. I just stopped giving out my uh, emails to the public after getting hacked. So unfortunately, the best way to com communicate with me is in the comments section below. Uh, like the video, uh, just motivate me to continue sharing uh, this knowledge with you guys. Um, if you are also looking for other robots, courses, indicators that people are selling out there, you can download them for free using the links in the description box below. Everything that we do on this channel is for free so we give away free stuff that people are selling out there the broker that i use obviously uh, the link is in the description box below as well uh, go ahead and sign up with them one of the best brokers in the world award winning and i've never had any problems with them depositing and withdrawing and you can open a real life trading account with just five dollars which is good when you're trying to test these robots uh, in a real life market conditions, uh, we don't stay away from demo because uh, for me demo doesn't uh, doesn't train you about uh, really winning or losing the psychology that you need in the market. So uh, I've talked a lot. Let's get uh, back to our topic. So this is what we are going to be working on today. Obviously, we are going to be using uh, FX Dreamer today. Uh, this is the Tweezer robot uh, th that we did on this channel. So go ahead and look for that video if uh, you are interested in that. I've just cleared my uh, board here. So if you are new to FX Dreamer, there might be some uh, example robot and some stuff here. Just uh, highlight everything and you clear everything. Then we can start uh, together on a clean uh, slide. So uh this is uh what the haramis look like and we're going to turn this into a robot uh if i'm speaking too fast i'm so sorry you can always remind rewind the video and watch it over and uh, follow the steps the thing is i am trying not to make this a video too long because i know some of you you are not interested in watching uh the videos that are longer than 15 minutes so that's why I am speaking fast and I'm trying to move uh, fast. So the first thing that we are going to do, obviously, is we are going to check for trades. Um, this is this is a basic video, uh, just to give you the direction that you might want to need uh, to take. Uh, I'm not including a lot of other things that you probably uh, will not need or will need, but uh, anyway. This is a basic video to show you the direction that you need to take. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to tell our robot to check if it has got any open trades. And if it doesn't have any open trades, then uh, we are going to be good. And we are going to filter uh, okay, once per bar. The 
because we want the robot to check for the, the signals once per bar and uh, we just connect uh, these uh, blocks so now what we want is our conditions uh, our conditions we are just going to go and uh, drag this condition and we are just going to link everything like so condition then uh, we are going to double click uh, this will be our first condition so we are now going to be looking at these candles uh, we are going to try and interpret what's happening here that's what we are going to do we are going to interpret what's happening here because here we are uh, we are going to be placing our buy condition there so we want to interpret uh, this what is this what is happening here so the first thing that we want to do is we're going to be looking at candle one this will be our candle one the candle that just closed the candle that just closed the candle that is not yet closed that will probably be here or maybe is here or whatever it's candle zero the candle zero is the current candle that is not yet closed candle one is candle that just closed as then we go to candle two candle three candle four uh, as it goes and it goes you get the picture so we are going to look at the recently closed candle which is candle one so that we understand what to do on our current candle which is candle zero so on candle one we are going to first of all compare the prices which will be the open the open will be here this will be the low this will be the high and this will be the open and this will be the close of the candle so we're just going to compare uh, this one so the first condition obviously the our open price needs to be below the close price that's why our robot knows that it has a bullish what a bullish candle it already knows that's what a bullish candle so that's what uh, we are going to do first we are going to go candle and we want to set candle open which needs to be below which needs to be sorry yeah it needs to be candle one important candle one it needs to be candle one which needs to be below uh, again we are using candle one and our price needs to be below the candle close that's what we are saying with this candle and we go ahead and we update that's basically the first uh, condition the second condition is uh, that we are now looking at uh, this candle this bigger candle so obviously if it's a bearish candle the open uh, price will be at the top and the close price will be at the bottom unlike the bullish candle which the open price is at the bottom and the close price at the top so we are going to set the same thing again so that our robot understands that it has a bearish candle and a bullish candle okay. so now we just double click and we go in there again we are going to choose candle if i'm moving too fast guys again you can rewind the um the video so that you understand uh what's happening so we said uh our open for the candle two needs to be needs to be greater yes it needs uh this will be our open it needs to be above our close so that our robot understand that that is a bearish candle so our open will be uh, greater than or above our close we, this is candle two this is candle two we're just focusing on candle two and we update so that you don't confuse yourself you can uh, right click and you can edit title you can say here uh, let's say candle 2 and we just delete uh, uh, that yeah, it's optional it's optional uh, I have, well, forgive me for my spelling of candle there uh, so it's optional and you click done and here again you can what you can right click and you go edit title and you say candle candle one and 
we just uh, remove uh, that and we click on done so that you just don't confuse yourself and we are going to link the two together because we want the robot to look at all these conditions so uh, that's basically uh, uh, setting our prices now we are going to have another condition um, we just put it like that and we double click and we go in there now what we want to do is we are comparing the two candles again now we are going to compare the two candles now we have told our robot to recognize our candles a bullish candle and a bearish candle now we are going to compare the candles so that the robot recognizes that the harami is there so how we are going to do that now is we are going to have again our candle we are going to use the first candle and we are going to use the closing price the closing price of the first candle of candle one not the first candle candle one and we are going to it needs to be lower lower than what candle two open you can see what's happening Can, uh, candle one close needs to be lower than candle two open that's what we are setting here so here we come here and we say candle again and we say uh candle open and we say candle two and we update and we are going to link the two together again so that you don't confuse yourself you can say uh well let's right click here uh, you can say candle comparison uh comparison one sorry i'm yeah uh, okay then we say uh done uh where's my thing where, where is it yes so that's uh, Kindle One comparison. You can uh, right click and you can copy that and we just paste it if you don't want to continue going this side. And we just do that and we rename it again. We just say uh, this is now uh, comparison two. Uh, we, that will be comparison two and we click on done. In comparison two, we are now looking at candle one open which needs to be what candle one open needs to be greater than candle two close you can see what's happening there candle one open must be greater above candle two close that's what we are going to set here so candle one open must be greater or above candle to close done update and we just link the two together like that basically ladies and gentlemen we now have uh we now have shown our robot how to recognize a bullish arami now our robot is able to recognize what bullish arami and we just link uh, everything like that we just put our buy now there and we can set our stop loss and uh, take profit i'm just using uh, leaving the defaults there you can use whatever you want to use and we go update and that's what you just need for the buy condition this what we've done here is enough to do that for the sell condition we are just going to copy everything we're going to highlight there and we're just going to uh copy so that we don't start afresh and we're going to paste and we are going to link it together like that because it's our cell condition we are just going to do the complete the opposite of what we were doing here so that we don't uh do everything uh what uh starting afresh again so again we are going to look at what um uh, candle one which is what this will be candle one and obviously we want what our open to be what to be higher now 
our open will be higher than our close and what we do that and we double click and we go in there now for the candle two we want everything to that uh, our open to be what to be uh, lower our open because it's a bullish candle will be lower than our close and we update so basically you're just now uh, doing what the opposite of what you see here and there we have got uh, uh, the is below now we are going to set is above and we double click and we go in there because we've got above we are just going to say uh, is lower that's all that you need and we are going to take our button cell now there and you can set whatever lot size you want there i'm just uh, keeping default so that we don't spend the whole day here and after doing that then uh, you can always uh not uh, not the one that i want here you can always what you can always uh bring in conditions like break even or if you uh, if you're not a big fan of break even I, I i use break even but i hate it sometimes because you always get stopped out at break even but you can always what trail your stop you can always trail your stop and we just uh, link everything together like that basically guys we have this robot that's how you create this robot that trades the bullish and the bearish harami and you just change the name of the robot there we call it harami robot or you can call it whatever uh, fancy name that you think you have done there and then here you can download uh, your source code obviously I'm not allowed to download my source code what right? because I'm using the free uh, 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 subscription so my blocks there are more than 10 now that's why I'm not allowed what right? to to download the robot but if you have an FX streamer subscription then uh, you can just then go ahead and what right? and download the robot but anyway, you get an idea of how to turn the uh, this strategy, the bullish and bearish Arami uh, strategy, into a forex robot. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you have any more questions, comments, uh, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer them in the coming videos. Guys, I will see you in the next videos. Bye.